Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. In fact, Psalm 90, which is the oldest of all the Psalms. And it's the beginning of another section of Psalms. The Psalms are broken up into different sections and some of them are Psalms of praise. Some are of lament, uh, lament about the state of the person or the, the people that, that are being prayed for, the condition of humanity. And some are in awe of God. And this is the beginning of that section, Psalm 90. And I'm going to read from verse 11 this morning, which says this. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. Read it again. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. Who knows the power of your, who knows how great God is? We can be friends with Jesus. We can be filled with the Holy Spirit and therefore receive from God. But to consider ourselves equal to God would be a mistake. For God is God and we are human. And there is this essential difference between us. He is divine and we are not. He is perfect and we are not. We are not because we have this characteristic that we call, we label, sin. The tendency to say and do and think wrong things from time to time. It's part of our human nature. It's what makes us frail at times and weak. And yet God is above that. God is divine. He is perfection. Who knows how great he is? Who can really understand that wonder and awe and majesty of our Father in heaven? That's what this psalm or this part of this psalm is saying. Who knows the power of your anger? That's how strong and forceful God can be. For your wrath, wrath being that anger, that, um, that discerning power, that uh, ability to be dis disgusted by what we might do at times and yet love us still. For your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. We should fear God in his power and awesome wisdom because he will stand no nonsense from us. We can't play fast and loose with him. We can't pretend to him. We can't make out that we are one thing but actually behave a different way. He sees that. He knows that. He knows who we are. He knew who we are before we were born. He knows the hairs on our head, the Psalms tell us. He knows all about us. And yet he still loves us. He loves us because we are created in his image. We are part of who he is. And he wants to redeem us, give us the chance to come back into his fold. If we turn away from this sinful nature of ours, the tendency to do the wrong things. It's the whole package. And in the midst of it, there is this reminder in the Psalms of just who God is. And we mustn't lose sight of that. We mustn't lose sight of the awesome wonder and power and greatness and majesty of God, our Father in heaven. We see some of that when we see Jesus. We see some of that awesome power in the healing of people and all the other things that Jesus did. We also see the great love he has for us, which is what Jesus expressed to us. And we can partake in that life because of the presence of the Holy Spirit with us. But let us not forget the greatness, the wonder and the majesty of our Father in heaven. Have a good day. See you soon.